You should work toward feeling comfortable starting small talk conversations as well as keeping them going. Small talk often starts with a simple question or statement about rather mundane daily life topics. For example, it's been so cold and windy lately. It's supposed to be spring. I really hope it warms up soon. Another possibility would be, the traffic was horrible today. I wonder what's going on. It's also common practice to inquire about upcoming plans or what your conversation partner has done recently. For example, do you have anything fun planned this weekend? Or how was your vacation last week? Another strategy is to share a bit of information about yourself and then ask a follow-up question. So I went camping this weekend with some friends and we went floating on the river. It was so fun. Do you like camping? Or, oh my gosh, I saw the new Avengers movie this weekend. It was awesome. Have you seen it yet? You can also comment on something in your surroundings like, wow, this building is so old and beautiful. When do you think it was built? Similarly, you can compliment your conversation partner on something appropriate. The general rule for what is appropriate is that you are complimenting something that the person has control over, like his or her clothes, bag, phone case, or jewelry. Avoid complimenting people on things they cannot control, like their general appearance, face, body, etc. For example, that's such a cool ring, where did you get it? And not, you have really pretty eyes. These types of compliments can be interpreted as expressions of romantic interest. Finally, if you know something about your conversation partner from a previous interaction, follow up on that. For example, I heard you moved to a new place recently. How do you like it? Or, didn't you say you had been to Japan before? How was it? I'd like to go one day. To keep a conversation going, make sure that you both ask and answer questions. Don't just talk for extended periods of time like you're giving a speech. If you're asked a question, it's generally a good idea to turn the question back around to your conversation partner after you answer. Americans also expect eye contact and head nods or short utterances such as mm-hmm, oh, and really, to indicate someone is paying attention. Try to keep an idea of a couple additional questions to ask or comments you could make if the conversation dies down. Lastly, pay attention to body language. Body language that indicates friendliness and interest is important. Crossed arms or a lack of eye contact, a serious or angry expression, one-word answers, not reciprocating questions, or checking one's phone can indicate that they are not interested in engaging in small talk. This is important for you to be aware of for how you appear, as well as to gauge someone's interest in speaking with you. Now, the most important step for how to engage in small talk is just do it. Try to practice small talk with everyone you encounter and soon you will improve and feel more confident in your abilities. Good luck.